From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big night on evening LA Late, as exactly what we thought was going to happen, happened. Over the last few days, I said that there would be a major stock market crash because no one has embedded the risk of a downward spiral or no one also has embedded the risk of more interest rate spikes from the Federal Reserve. And that's what happened tonight. Tonight, we go over the latest details across the board and why we understood this was happening. This is on top of the latest news from Jay Powell that came in today. All the big news that happened this morning and the big reaction. Stock market down 1,000 points today. Finishing across the board, major indices crashing. Hubs market, people trying to say the jobs market is strong. It's not. Your benefit raised, your benefits are happening. Big lift across the board. I'll go over the latest details across the board. The home builders not pivoting up as the home prices fall, existing home sales fall, and people trying to say inflation has peaked when the producer price index and the CPI is followed up by the personal consumption expenditure index tonight. This is big news for your benefits, huge news. And people saying that there would never be a forced stimulus check in any U.S. state. Well, the big news tonight is there is now 12 categories of forced stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Over 100 to 200 checks. We've been talking about this on a while on this channel. And tonight we'll understand why we've been able to get it wide. Last year, I said the economy would suffer a recession for two years. I said it across the board. I said inflation was going to be persistent at 8% and not come down, and it has. I said all last week that Wall Street had not embedded into the risk of the markets pervasive, consistent, inflationary interest rate spikes from Jay Powell. And that was announced by Jay Powell at the Jackson Hole Conference. I said if they do not embed the risk into the market, that's what's going to happen, a major crash for the market. We started the week 600 points down. Tuesday, 150 points down. And tonight, 1,000 points down. Folks, but this is easy to predict. Stock market crash, inflationary pressures, recession, raise of your benefits, stimulus checks, 12 categories, over 100 checks. This is why you tune to this channel, because the projections are correct and the money is correct. In this recording, I'm going to show you how to get 12 categories of checks, nearly 100 checks. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, good evening. It's Evenings LA for a big night of August 26, 2022. Let's get some big money. Your benefit raise, your housing, your unemployment, your for stimulus. The breaking news starts right here, right now, as a major recording starts on a big night of Evenings LA, starting right here, right now, for an August 26, 2022 on Evenings. Good evening, everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful night. It's August 26, 2022 from the shores of Santa Monica, California. One of the things we've learned on this channel over the last two years, you do not bet against LA because you're going to lose. I said that the U.S. economy would suffer a recession in February this year. Then I said that the inflation is not going to be temporary or transitory in 2022. Then I said a stock market crash is going to happen. And that stock market crash happened twice, three times this week. We'll go over the latest details across the board. Housing data, big lift of your benefits. Also, the major stimulus checks, two new checks released this week. A total of 12 categories of checks. Huge money. I'm going to start, of course, with the major story tonight. It's what we thought would happen. Earnings recession, the crash of the market. It all starts right now for a big night of Evenings LA. I told you a week ago today, I was deeply concerned about a major issue. And that major issue was that we knew the Federal Reserve is going to have consistent interest rate spikes for the rest of this year. You and I knew this. Why? Because the Fed governors had told us, Boulard, Daly, Bauman, said we're going to have, from their own mouths, we're going to have consistent interest rate spikes until we get inflation from the current levels of 8.5% down to 2%. It doesn't drop with one interest rate spike. And I said I was concerned. Why? Because I was projecting interest rate spikes every month from September to December of 75 basis point. While Wall Street over there was saying 
one spike in September, and that's it. No more spikes. I said that type of wrong prognosis will send the stock market to, into a major crash because one Jay, once Jay Powell, your head of the Federal Reserve, speaks at Jackson Hole on Friday, Wall Street's going to wake up and realize we had a fake narrative. We had a fake narrative. We have been get, betting against the Federal Reserve. The governors had sold, told us what they're going to do. We betted against them. And they're going to crash. And that's what happened on Monday this week. The Dow down 650 points tonight, down 1,000 points. It's bad news for this economy. It's bad news for you, even if you own stocks. Why? Because Americans would understand there's something wrong with this economy. And they didn't have to crash the market. They didn't have to crash the market. All they have to say is that more interest rate spikes are going to happen and embed that into the rest of the markets tonight. Consumer confidence in the markets is not there. Consumer confidence in the economy is not there. And all everyone knows that a 1,000-point crash the stock market means something's wrong. Now, let's start with what's going to be covered in tonight's recording. We're going to go over those 12 categories of checks. Yes, 12 categories of checks that fields nearly 100 to 200 checks. We're going to go over your lifetime benefits and then we're going to go over the latest details on the Consumer Price Index, PPI, and today tonight's major breaking news, the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index. But first, we're going to start with the other major news tonight, is earnings. A series of companies reported their second quarter earnings today. Other companies gave you guidance for the rest of this year, and it was generally not a good day for either of them. Electronic Arts jumped on news that it may have a deal with Amazon potentially buying EA. The stock was up 6.2% in pre-market trading. Gap was up 6% in pre-market trading when it beat on top and bottom. Affirm dropped 13% in pre-market trading, missed on top and bottom. Everbridge jumped as it beat with a 14.3%. Dell fell 5.5% when it missed then Farfetch surged 14.1 when it beat. Workday up 11% when it beat. Of course, this is all pre-market trading before the stock market crashed today. And Ultra Beauty, which has been one of the great performers of the stock market, up 3.8% in that major beat today. But going into today's announcement from the Federal Reserve, what did we know about the situation? We had Boulard, Daly, Bauman, the three Fed governors, speaking over the last two weeks. I told you this is very, very basic. A great schooler can understand this. When the Fed governors tell you what they're going to do, that's what they're going to do. The policy of the Federal Reserve is to give you guidance so they don't shock the market. And yet, the market was shocked today. Why? Because they were betting against the actual words can be put from, from people's mouths. What had those governors said over the last few weeks? They're going to do consistent, continual interest rate spikes to the get inflation down to 2% target for the Federal Reserve. And those interest rate spikes will likely be what they were in the month of July and June, 75 basis point. So why was anyone shocked by Jay Powell's comments today at that annual conference in Jackson Hall? I have no idea why. Because everyone understood what Jay Powell was going to say last night in this show. I said Jay Powell is going to say in Jackson Hole on Friday morning, East Coast time, West Coast is about 8 o'clock in the morning. I featured on Mornings LA. I said he's going to say consistent interest rate spikes until we get a target of 2%. Do you say that? Yes and yes. I also say he's going to say 75 basis points like what could do. Do you say that? No. He didn't give us guidance on the percentage, but everything else he said, and Wall Street was shocked. <laughs> It's sort of like when someone walks up to Nancy and says, Nancy, um, I don't like the San Francisco hairstyle. Well, I like it. I'm going to wear it. And you bet against her and that hairstyle. You're going to lose. <laughs> is that the best analogy you can run with? I think it is. Uh, what was Jay Powell's comments today? Watch the following comment. Some time. S-O-M-E time. He said, we're moving our policy stance purposely to a level that would be sufficiently restrictive until we return inflation to 2%. There you go. I told you he was going to say that again. We need to get inflation to 2%. He said it again. So how many more interest rate spikes? One, said Wall Street. Me, I said September to December. What did he say? We're going to stay with this for some time. Ding, ding, ding. There you go. The historically record cautious tells us to be cautious against premature loosening policies. Price stability is the responsibility of the Federal Reserve and serves as the bedrock of the economy. Without price stability, the economy does not work any for anyone. We must stay with this until our job is done. 
he's going to keep on doing interest rate spikes to at 2%. This is not a shocker, folks. This is what all the Fed governors said for the last three weeks. And then Wall Street said, no, we're just going to ignore what you said. That's sort of like Mitch walking into the Senate ballroom, Senate luncheon room, and having lobster shorts on. And you say, can you change it? No, I'm not. And you bet against that. You're just not going to win with Mitch. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, the Federal Reserve said there's no place to stop for our interest rate spikes. And we understand it's going to cause some pain to households and businesses. But a failure to do that would restore price stability, would mean greater prices are embedded. The, fact, the actual word, he says, is that it would cause entrenchment. What is entrenchment? It basically says if your milk, which usually was $2 a gallon, is $5, and that you've gotten used to it as the new normal, you will not look back and expect $2 to come back. If you've seen milk change over the last three months, jump in the live chat. Has it gone from $2 to $5 and it's still at $5? That's what he's worried about, exactly what I'm talking about. He does not want the new normal to be the normal. He wants you to, get set, he wants you to say, I need it back to $2. Why? Because you can't afford $5 indefinitely. That is why they're trying to get prices under control. And that's why the stock market crashed so dramatically left and right today. Initially down 400 points on mornings at late by afternoons. It was about 500 points tonight. It finished down nearly 900 plus points. It was even lower later in today's recordings. The other major story that broke today was the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index. Uh, one of the things I forgot to mention earlier today was Jay Powell's comments was he will not be looking at just one day of data or one month of data. He's looking at consecutive months of data. I like that a lot because that's what we feature on this channel. He's going to look at lots of data over several months. And he's certainly looking at today's breaking news. It was the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index. It's a number released between the CPIs. We featured a lot on this channel, and what did the number say today? The number was basically flat. The Personal Consumption Expenditure Index shows year over year a 6.3% down from 6.8, but that's basically flat. But, but when you remove energy, it surged a little bit more month to month. So it was basically flat for the headline number, but the component part went actually up when you look at the month to month. Lifetime stimulus is happening, and all this lifetime stimulus is dependent upon the personal consumption expenditure index. What is the lifetime stimulus? The raise of your benefits. Your benefits are definitely going up. The question is how much. The answer, we're going to go over right now. Lifetime stimulus, why? Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. And the personal consumption expenditure index is a gauge of inflation. We'll go over those gauges of inflation in just a second, but first let's understand how this works. Your benefits are going up a lot. Some of you 5,000, some of you less, some of you more. You, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, and Veterans Benefits. Why are they going up? Because inflation is really high. Has inflation peaked? It is not peaked. When you look at the component parts, when you look at the headline number, it has. So, First, I want you to understand that your benefits are definitely going up. Second, I want you to understand that they're dependent upon certain data points. We're going to go over those data points first, and then we're going to go back over how much your benefits are going up, and you do the analysis with me together in this broadcast tonight. Your benefits are going up because inflation is the highest of a generation. So what's going off inflation? What's the breaking news tonight? First... Your benefits are tied to inflationary benchmarks, and the most important is the CPI. It was released on August 10th, and it went up a lot. It's not released again until September 10th. And so in between August 10th and September 10th, we have other inflationary numbers to use. The one that's really helpful is the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index released today. This is one of the preferred numbers for the Federal Reserve. And what was it? Basically flat. The component part's a little bit up this month compared to the prior month. Great news for you and your benefits. Now let's go over what we learned a few weeks ago when that CPI was released for the month of July. When released on August 10th, that CPI was basically flat. Great news across the board. And then when you look at the component parts, they actually went up month to month. But let's look at that data starting right now. 
The CPI was released in July for the month of June, and the PPI surged, the CPI beat, the retail sales beat. So we are looking for that number for the new month, July, released August 10th. And what happened? Well, we'll go over the details on that in just a second. That number surged and in the component parts, but the headline number was basically flat. Fascinating. Let's look at the details right now. In May, that CPI was a whopping 8.6%, the highest of a generation, just really hot. Then, the month of June, 9.1%. Oh, baby. What happened in the month of July, released August 10th? That number was really high, 8.5%. A little bit of cooling on the headline number, but your benefits are going up a lot. So what happened on August 10th? It pulled, cooled down a little bit to 85 but the component parts, like milk and eggs, rent and salaries, was still going up. Now, let's go over how this impacts your benefits. Your benefits are tied to something called COLA, Cost of Living Adjustment, and it's determined by another number over three months. The CPI, there we go, there it is again, the CPI-W actually, released for the month of July, the August number, and the September number. When we saw that CPI really surge in May, we said, hey, so long as the CPI remains flat or actually goes higher for, Ju for July, August, and September, yes, it's three months of data that determines your COLA, we are going to get a massive lifetime lift of your benefits. Once your benefits go up, they never go down. So let's say they go up 10% this year. That's lifetime. If inflation next year is 2%, they go up 2% on top of that 10%. So what happened on August 10th? The CPI headline number was a little bit lighter. 8.5%. It's basically flat, but a little bit lighter. And then the component parts, milk and eggs, uh, salaries, and also rent went up. So tonight, even without the personal consumption expenditure index being relatively flat, last week the retail sales flat, the personal the PPI, which is how much the wholesaler pays for the products, flat. What are we looking at in our daily lives? Well, we're looking at the rent. Are the landlords cutting the rent? They're not, of course not. The salaries, is the employer cutting your salary? Of course not. You're going to quit if they do. And play that Beyonce song. Uh, <laughs> you know what it is. And then has the milk and eggs come down? Jump in the live chat because it ultimately depends on you. If you believe those items are relatively flat, then that's great news for your benefits because your benefits are going up astronomical. Then if you believe they're going up higher, well, why? Gasoline. This is one of the part of the equation. Gasoline in the membership newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, has gone up. International price of Brent crude was 92 just a week ago. It is 102, 104 this week, yesterday. Let's see what is tonight in that membership newsletter. That all indicates your benefits are going up a lot. So, how much? The Seniors League, when looking at an 8.5% print on August 10th, says if it stays the same, you're going to see about a 10.1% raise of your benefits. 8.5, 10.1% raise. Do I agree? I think it's a little bit more. I think it's a little bit more. Do you agree? If you believe that the numbers are about the same or a little bit higher, like rent and milks and eggs and salaries and gasoline, then yes, you certainly believe it's the same or about a little bit more. Great news. Remember, this is law. This is happening. We don't have to guess about it. It's determined by three months of data, and we have two more months of data to be released. But in between that, we have data points, like today, the Personal Consumption Expenditure Index, which was flat. And we have other gauges, like the housing, provided we have time laying this recording. I'll cut back to the housing data we got in yesterday. Fascinating across the board. Now, the great news for you is this week, Two new stimulus checks were added to this channel last Sunday. No, the Sunday before that, two Sundays ago. Seven stimulus checks passed by Congress. And back in the March, three stimulus checks became law by executive action. This is four stimulus. We're now at a total of 12 categories of checks. Check A all the way to check M as I label them on this channel. A is lots of deliciousness. B is lots of checks. C is lots of checks. D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K is one check. And then when we go to L and M, L is one check, but M is lots of checks. We'll go over all these incredible checks in the big second half. 
One of the benefits of becoming a member is not just the membership of this channel, not just the newsletter, but it's also the worksheet that is in the newsletter. The first three checks featured in this newsletter are check A, B, and C, and they will be covered in the big second half. They're about a $100,000. Passed by executive action to Joseph Biden, the first three checks A, B, and C are federal stimulus from the federal government, paid by the federal government, not paid by your states, not sent by your states. And you qualify. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. How do you get it? Become a member. Go on in this video, join the channel. Join the channel and get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time via the YouTube alerts. And we're going to go over each of these incredible checks in the big second half. You qualify. If you have children, if you don't have children, if you're on benefits, if you don't have benefits, go get those incredible checks. We'll go over each of them in the big second half. Now, one of the other benefits of becoming a member is the membership newsletter features the price of gasoline nightly, the price of corn, the price of wheat. And it also features this, the L8 worksheets. It's a PDF you could print from your cell phone or your computer, about seven pages in length. It's a PDF, and it's incredible. And tonight, we know a lot more about what goes into that worksheets, and we have a lot more success stories. Page one of the worksheets is inflation. What do we learn today about inflation? Well, we sort of knew it was going to happen, but now we heard it from the guy himself, Jay Powell, head of the Federal Reserve, saying that inflation is pervasive cannot sit around, and it's not going away right away. And that is why they need those interest rate spikes for a while. I believe that inflation is continue into 2023, perhaps the first time I'm saying that on AUSLA, and that is why I believe those interest rate spikes will continue into 2023. And the next uh, page, item of page one, recession. A housing recession is underway, an economic recession is underway. Two negative quarters of GDP growth, gross national product, have been posted by this economy. The big second half will go over this more and why economists are battling the term when it's not a term to battle. Labor, well, we had those new jobless claims yesterday. It's basically a flat number, 243, 245,000, 250,000, 240,000. It's basically the same number. The unemployment rate in the United States is the lowest since 1969. And the Federal Reserve, told you so, told you so. I said that the Federal Reserve governors speaking to conferences the last two weeks have made it very clear. Interest rate spikes until they get to 2%. Interest spikes, spikes continuing and not stopping. And Bauman, Michelle Bauman specifically said 7%, uh, 75 basis points is what we did in June and July. We're likely to stay with that. I said the lack of Wall Street to embed that risk into the markets and to run this ridiculous, hideously false narrative that the Federal Reserve is going to do one interest rate spike in September and call it quits was absurd. And that the Wall Street stocks, the Dow Jones, the Nasdaq, will eventually crash because the ridiculous narrative results in them not embedding the risk of interest rate spikes into the markets for the rest of this year. The stock market crashed on Monday. The stock market crashed today. That's why you stay with this channel, because this is very basic stuff. And even the most basic stuff is not done by analysts. The second page of the worksheet is a big winner. It is a table for you to keep track of your checks you apply for. Tonight, let's recap those checks. A is one check. B is 80 to 100 checks. C is 80 to 100 checks, but you're going to apply for it in 12 places. Oh, boy. 12 places for 100 checks? Yeah, that's a lot of keeping track of. There's a lot of opportunities on this channel. C, same thing. And then uh, when you look at checks E through K, lots of deliciousness, but they're each really just one check. L, one check. M, lots of checks. So you see there's clearly over 200 checks to apply for on this channel. You need to keep track of it, and that's why page two is so important. The only difference is, Page two was created by me. When there were the last checks, we just had A, B, and C when this worksheets were created. And there's about 20 rows on this worksheet. You need to print out multiple copies. Last Sunday, last weekend, one viewer got 14 months of rent. The day before that, another viewer got 14 months of rent. The day before that, a viewer got 12 months of utilities. Spelly got check A, Spelly got check C's. And then that viewer had a Florida. She got 80 plus checks from check B. She had applied for check B and she got approved by the state of Florida less than two weeks ago. Ma'am, you've been approved. Great news. For what? Mortgage. Oh, my goodness. A mortgage check for one month. No, 18 months. Wow. 18 months for a mortgage? That's a lot of money. 
She looked at her worksheet. She forgot she had filled it out. And then she looked. She said, oh, my God, I applied also for all my utilities. Four to five utility bills per month plus her mortgage. That's about five checks per month, 18 months. Yes, that is 80 plus checks. That's why you want to become a member of this channel. Let's go to the next page of a worksheet. The next page of the worksheet is uh, the great news for your benefit raise. So you can run calculations and practice the Dow. If your benefits went up 10%, then you take 10% times your current check. Let's say it's currently $1,000. That's $1,100. You can run different numbers and use the table as a practice for you. It's very helpful. The next page is gas prices. Told you so. Gas prices are not going to stay down at $92 a barrel. Why? Because the release of the strategic reserves by your president is not for more than six months. It's running out or has run out. Number two, the massive production and refinery output of July is not continuing indefinitely. That was just for a short period of time. That was the deal. Number three, the reduced production and increased demand come September, yeah, is going to be a different situation. And we also have those winter months when the refineries go offline. And then finally, student loan debt forgiveness feature on this channel it is now going to get phased out as a storyline because it is now a finished storyline across the board. In the big second half, we're going to go over all these incredible checks. They're huge. 12 categories of checks, 200 plus checks. They're all law. They're all from the federal government. They're all been paid. They're all been paid out to viewers of this channel. We're going to go over the incredible success stories that you can be your success story as well. We're going to go over how to get it and take out your pen and pen paper and take notes. I then have a commentary about the checks tonight. Then we'll be cutting back to the recession discussion. We'll be going over back to this discussion about the stock market crashing because they assumed the most obvious from Jay Powell's own mouth and sort of ran against it, ran on a narrative that was contrary to what people were actually telling you. We're going to go over why that's important when considering your stimulus. Plus, we'll look at some incredible success stories the viewers having. What do you need to do? Very simply, go into the video, become a member. Join this channel. Join Ally 1, join Ally 2, or join Ally 3. And all three members' channels deliver that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system. In the big second half, we're going to go over all these incredible checks from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Plus, stay with me all weekend along because there's a lot of breaking news to cover. For the shores of Santa Monica, California, we're just getting started. As tonight's broadcast of e News All Light goes into a big second half, stay with me as we go into that big second half in less than 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues in a big second half for August 26, 2022 from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Join me all weekend long because there's a lot of big money happening. And that big money is stimulus, your economy, your recession. We have a lot to go over in this big second half. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, I'm excited for you. The latest details heat up right now. Your fourth stimulus and the breaking news on a big second half. 
and it all starts right now from the shores of Santa Monica, California. How are you? I'm so excited for you. You know, it's a great week we have with us. In the last seven days, this channel has now gotten you nine new categories of stimulus checks. Those on top of the three categories of checks that this channel has been getting you since the month of March. 12 categories and not just 12 checks. We're going to go over all these incredible checks starting right now. The first three checks we already went over in summary, but we're going to go over in detail starting right now. The first three checks are check A, check B, and check C. Passed by executive order of Joseph Biden in the month of March. They're huge. And what are they? Let's go over those checks starting right now. Check A is a $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. This is the check that Spelly got. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. If you're on benefits, go get it across the board. How do you get this incredible check? You go under the video, you subscribe, step one. Step two, you go under the video, join the channel. And then you go down under the video and make sure you're joined. Then you get that membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Once you get that membership newsletter, you go down to where it says check A and go and apply. Go and get that incredible check A in the membership newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You're not done there yet. You're going to move over to check B in the membership newsletter. Go down to check B in the membership newsletter, and that's where you apply for check B. Single individual, individual seventy-five thousand less. Go get it. Married couple, one hundred fifty thousand less. Go, go get it. And if you're on benefits, go get it as well. Again, subscribe, join the channel, and then go into the membership newsletter. That's where you apply for check B. Incredible, so simple, and you're not done there yet. But let's look and see how well we've done already. Check A. 12000 check B, 80000 that's $100,000. Yes, baby. But now let's go to the wonderful check C. Check C is a wonderful $2,000 check over 12 months, but a lot of people are getting more than that. They're averaging about $45,000. And this is the check that Spelly got. Check B is the check that the viewer out of Florida got. 80 checks across the board, clearly more than, than $80,000. Check C is for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. You become a member, you subscribe, and get that incredible membership newsletter and go down into Check C. It tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. So simple. That is the wonders of that Check C. And what are some success stories for Check C? We've been getting Check C on this channel for a long time. It predates fourth stimulus, it predates third stimulus, it predates second stimulus. Here's some of the success stories. From the wonderful $20,000 all the way up to this with Elizabeth, go get some rent for check C's. Do you want $15,000 for utilities for check C's? Well, that's what, Mark, that's what Mark's brother-in-law got. The same brother-in-law got $250,000 over 10 years for SNAP. Combinations, incredible. Nisi was at this graphic, then she went to more, and now she's at nearly $50,000. Mark was at this graphic for $32,000, now he's at $166,000. He brought it to 50, then he brought it to 100, then he brought it to 166. Lorraine, who celebrated a great birthday this week, happy birthday, Lorraine. She went from 105 to 155. It's incredible. That is checks A, B, and C. Passed by the President of the United States by executive order in the month of March. Viewers have been getting these checks since the month of March. Merely featured in the newsletter that March, that night, he announced them. And those checks have been gotten by viewers since the month of March. The new checks that became a law two Sundays ago are checks E through K. And let's go over those incredible checks starting right now. Check E is $7,500. Check F is $4,000. Check G, about 30% off. H is $2,000. I is $8,000. J is $8,000. And K is $14,000. Thousand dollars. Whoa, that is wonderful. How do you get them? Go into the membership newsletter, and checks E through K are all next to each other. Incredible. We're not done there yet. You're gonna go get checks L and M. They were announced on this channel this week. What is L? Check L is around $100,000 on average of loan interest free money for the purchase of your first home or purchase of any home. And then check M is several checks, approximately $4,000 in total free money to for closing costs on that home. My goodness, 
Look at all these incredible monies. L and M are in the membership newsletter right under E through K. And there you go. I mean, this is just absolutely wonderful. This is why you want to be a member. This is why you want to stay a member. E through K became a law two Sundays ago. L through M was added to the membership newsletter this week. That is nine new categories of checks. About, you know, clearly more than nine checks, but nine categories of checks in the last seven days. That's why you want to become a member of this channel and stay a member. Incredible sums of money. Step one, go into this video, subscribe. You're watching the number three most watched financial news channel in America, now with three channels. LA1, LA2, and LA3. Number two, go into this video and join this channel. And also become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Barra Casino VIP. Welcome all the hundreds of new members this week. Welcome to all the upgrading members from Purple Hawk to Purple Power and Purple and Casino VIP. And welcome to all the new multi-channel members. Yes, some of you have become members on two channels. I will continue to give you shout outs when you become a member on two channels, a paid member on two channels. Now, the other thing that you need to know is always jump on to L8.com for the latest breaking news about your economy. Step one, go on this video, subscribe. Step two, join the channel. And step three, go to the Funnish channel. Make sure you have the bell set to all notifications all on. You want to miss any money at any time. This channel launched in 2020 to cover initially EIDL, PPP, PUA, and similar instruments. And what was I covering at the time? People had applied for instruments but had made mistakes in the application process. I came around and realized, oh, this was the mistake you made. Fix it this way. And they said, oh my God, you're right. And they went and fixed it. For example, it was in some cases when the application called for a number and they missed a number. For example, I just remember just this minute, one of, the, one of the big videos at the time, was it asked for the routing number of the checking account and then the checking account number. And people literally inverted that. They put the checking account number where it asked for the routing number. And they said, oh my goodness, that's why my application was not approved. And the next day they were approved and they got fortunes of money. I've covered things like people put in a social security number when it asked for the tax ID number of a business and reverse. People made very, very simple errors. I caught it. They made the changes. When we were coming on employment service, we had people who had filled out the whole application but had not certified for benefits that week. They filled out the whole application, but they didn't go in and, and, and fill for that week. All about listening taking notes of what I say in the videos, and going and doing it. Back earlier this year, I said, this is the future of stimulus. It was the start of stimulus, and I also said it was going to be the future of stimulus. Stimulus started this way, making sure you cross your T and dot your I. In the middle of stimulus, it became sort of like a donut guy. You just sort of sit back, and money just landed, money just landed. And I said, stop focusing on donut land. Focus on how it all began, because it's going back to all how it began. And you have been doing a great job, incredible job. I'm so proud of you. You had initially heard from me last year to go get three months of rent. I called it a round, four months of rent. And you said to yourself, no, I'm going to try bigger. I'm going to try bigger than what Allied's doing. I'm going to try to get 12 months, and you got it. Then you started to get 14 months. And the last few weeks, you've gone from six or nine or 12 months to now 14 and 18 months. I'm so proud of you. Now, on the other side of the equation, there's some people that don't listen to very basic things. I got to tell you, unless I talk really funny, which sometimes people say, <laughs> you got to listen exactly to very basic things. And if you can't finish basic things with me, you're not going to be able to finish basic things with these checks. Look at this graphic with me. What does it say? Become a member? That's pretty obvious what that means. The next line, newsletter, M-F. Where do you apply for the checks? In the newsletter, Monday through Friday. And yet to this day, some people still say, I went to the community page to apply for checks. Who says that? Not me. How many times a day is this graphic shown on this channel? Probably close to several hundred. Because there's 24 hours of programming, now there's three channels, and this image just flashes over and over again. You apply for the checks in the newsletter Monday through Friday. No, you don't apply anywhere else. You don't apply in the community page. The volunteers don't apply for you. You apply in the newsletter. You need to watch the graphic. Maybe you're cooking bacon while I'm recording and just trying to, you know, <laughs> have me smell it. Uh, you need to really pay attention. The next line, 
7 p.m. PST, YT alerts. 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, the alerts are sent to you via YouTube, written by me, about the newsletter. And yet some people see that PST and ignore it. Oh, I'm, a, I'm out in New York, and it's 7 o'clock in New York, and I didn't get anything out like, where is it? The, the page, the graphic in front of you says Pacific Standard Time. You're not Pacific Standard Time if you're in New York. You know you're not Pacific Standard Time. You're East Coast Time. EST, you're East Coast Standard Time. You know you don't have the same time zone as Los Angeles. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You can't forget this stuff. You forget the stuff, you don't get money. I mean, this is very, very, very basic stuff. You got to really focus. 7 o'clock, Pacific Standard Time, YouTube alerts. And then there's always that person says, I get alerts all day long. Who cares how many alerts you get from the channel? It's the 7 o'clock alert. Oh, yeah, you're right. Who cares you've got an alert 4 o'clock Pacific Standard Time? It's a 7 o'clock alert Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, you're right. Folks, you got to stay with very basic stuff. I make it as simple as I can. If you ignore basic stuff, you know, it, it is, it, it's, I can't make it any more basic for you. And no, I'm not applying for the money for you, nor are the volunteers. It's very, very, very basic where things are Go get them. Watch the video. The video goes too fast. If I talk too fast, yeah, I sometimes talk too fast. Under the video, you can pull the video back. You can replay the video. Or you can watch the videos throughout the day because they uh, have a similar theme to them. Just a little similar theme. And it will be covered again for you across the board. The President of the United States had an economic advisor appear on broadcast media this week uh, talking about there's no recession. And then yesterday, another guy who's a Nobel Peace uh, Prize winner, Nobel Prize winner, saying there's no recession because of one factor, lowest unemployment rate since 1969. Do you get to do that? Do you get to say there's no recession because one data point is negating your understanding of recession? No, you don't. You don't get to do that. No one is able to do that. It's not fair. You cannot say it's not a recession because I'm pulling one data point out of my, my back pocket. I can pull a lot of data points out of my back pocket and say, yeah, you absolutely do have a recession. And we're going to do that starting right now. First, we have the earnings recession with those companies downward guiding for the rest of this year. The companies that never downward guide for 12, for 12, 20 years they've been in business are downward guiding. That's the first data point. The second data point, of course, housing market. Housing market is suffering things we have never seen in 20-something years. And that housing market situation is getting worse by the day. The chief economists out of the National Association of Home Realtors say, yes, you're in a housing recession. Home builders do not, are not even building anymore, he actually says. Existing home sales down uh, dramatically in levels we've never seen before. New home starts down, builder confidence down. And they're not just down, you know, in a few months. They're down for month after month, the lowest level we've seen of a generation. Is that indicative that there's no recession? No, that's indicative it, there is a recession. Jobless claims, it was 144 just a few weeks ago in April. Now it's 250, 245, 243, 250. Does that indication of no recession? No, it's indication that there's something wrong. Uh, and the stock market crashing when Jay Powell makes a comment that they did not want to hear. Is that indication of no recession? No, it's actually perhaps indication of something other than there's no recession. Ultimately, there's been this sort of strange meandering out there in which people want to tell you something that's just not happening. They want to tell you that Jay Powell's not going to have interest rate spikes. Untrue. They want to tell you that it's not recession because labor employment rate, one data point, is, is great. No, you don't get to do that. You don't get to do that. People want to say there's no forced stimulus check because the state of Oklahoma has not sent it to you. The first stimulus check, the second stimulus check, look at me right in the eye because I'm going to be very blunt to that person that says that all the time and has cousins and neighbors are saying as well. The first stimulus check was sent by the Department of Trans the Department of Treasury. Where is that in the start in the state of Oklahoma, state of Kentucky, state of Mississippi? That is a federal government. That is the federal government. The seal was on the envelope. Treasury sent you the first stimulus check. Treasury sent you the second stimulus check. Treasury sent you the third stimulus check. Your state never sent the first or third stimulus check. Where did you ever see that? 
In fact, you open the envelope, it was a beige check from the Department of Treasury. It looked just like your Social Security check. And it was never sent by your state. So to say there's no force in this check because Kentucky doesn't care, I don't care what Kentucky cares about. I care about where money comes from. And it's always come from the federal government. PPP was the federal government. EIDL was the federal government. Unemployment, yes, that was a state. But all these other items was from the federal government. And if you think your state doesn't care, maybe it doesn't care. But I'm not covering state stimulus. I've never covered state stimulus. I've always covered federal stimulus. And for you to say this ridiculousness that one or two trolls now and then, it's just showing you, you don't want the money. And I love it. I love it. You know why? Because it gives us all the rest of us the money. All the rest of us have more access to the money. Every time there's someone saying there isn't, there aren't, there isn't, they're thrown off this channel and the rest of us have that money to enjoy. All that wonderful money to enjoy. And that's how we do it on this channel. There were three stimulus checks in the month of March. There were then got it, seven stimulus checks added two Sundays ago. Two new checks added this week. Categories of checks, let's remember. That is now 12 categories of checks. 100 to 200 for stimulus checks. I care about you. I look for these checks. I look high and low for you for those checks. If I look for those checks for you and then I find them, what are you going to do? You're going to go get them. You're going to go get them. I don't look for checks for you not to get them. I look for checks for you to go get them. And yes, along the way, you may get a rejection. You may get a check rejection for check A, but you get approved for check B. You may get a unapproved for one utility item from 12 possible possibilities, but you got 11 other places to call. That's how we do it. If I put the effort in, you put the effort in. They're not my checks. They're your checks. I'm fighting for you every day of this channel. And that is why the difference is LLA. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, God bless you. I want you to get all these incredible sums of money. I also don't want you to follow people that tell you incorrect statements. It starts with this guy. Last year, he said inflation was going to be temporary transitory. In December 2020, I said he's wrong. I said Jay Powell, the head of the Federal Reserve, a very smart guy, is wrong. I'm not so stupid because <clears throat> I was right. Inflation was not temporary transitory. It's 8%. And it's still 8%, 8.5%. Then, in earlier this year, I said that this economy would go into recession. It is a recession. Two negative quarters of GDP growth has now been boasted. All last week, and I said there's going to be a massive stock market crash because the stock traders are betting against the Federal Reserve. They're taking the Federal Reserve's words and inverting them, doing the opposite. When the Federal Reserve says they're going to do interest rate spikes consistently until they get inflation to 2%, and Wall Street says, no, they're going to stop. Guess why that's not a great move? You're betting against the Federal Reserve's own words. The way the Federal Reserve does things is they give you guidance left and right. Anyone that bet against the Federal Reserve, they deserve their stocks to crash tonight because that was a wrong approach to the situation. And finally, I told you that in a recession, stocks are down 45 to 55%. And then if stocks are down 20%, don't believe that, that is the end of the situation when they rebound across the board. Yeah, some stocks rebounded in the month of June, and they're up tonight. Finally, I care about you greatly. And people have asked, whatever happened to that crypto show? It's very hard to make a crypto show. Why would I make a crypto show if a company, if a, if a, crypt, if a coin like Decentraland is hovering around 80 cents, and then three months later, it's still operating around 80 cents. What would I record about that? That you should go buy it? No. Uh, that you should go buy Bitcoin because it found a resistance level of 23,000, goes right back to 21,000 it has had for the last two days? No. What are the major broadcasts are saying about it? Yeah, Bitcoin found a resistance level of 23,000 and then it crashed back down to 21,000 and then went to 20,000. How has Bitcoin performed in the last few weeks, months, half a year? 20, 21, 22, 23. Yeah, I care about you. Why would I ever make that ridiculous recording? Other people want to tell you to buy Shiba Nu. It was not a new then, and it's not a new now. <laughs> Other people want you to tell you to buy Ethereum. Why? It's flat and falling. It's not an investment vehicle if it has no appreciation of its value. If you can go buy a used car, in 2022 for $3,000, and it's gonna be worth $5,000 in two months. You would go buy a used car over crypto coins. And if you did, you've made good money.
From the shores of Santa Monica, California, the programming continues throughout the night. With evenings at late every night at 5 o'clock, make sure you watch that breaking news report. At 6 o'clock is Countdown. 7 o'clock is Stream Stimulus. 8 o'clock is Extra. 9 o'clock is Sunset. We return every morning at early mornings at 4 a.m. Mornings at late live on air at 9 a.m. Oh, I forgot mornings countdown as well at 7 a.m. Please tune in to L83 because you give big guidance about the markets and L82, big guidance about your stimulus. For the shorts of Santa Monica, California, make sure you become a member. Go right on this video, become a member tonight. If you become a member to L8 1, 2, or 3, you get that newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And here again is L8 3 and L8 2 with new programming coming in the next few days and certainly next week.